Hello. All right. Just a quick change of plans. Uh, earlier this morning, I said I was going to work on the transmission. Um, the transmission shifter mount. Um, then I thought, you know what? I got something easier. Easier? Well, we'll see. We'll find out. I have to remove the drive shaft. And it's way, way back up in there. Through this hole here. And I just have a small axis eyeball space right here. You can see that screw up in there maybe. See it? And I crammed this screwdriver in here to uh, keep it from rotating. <coughs> so, there are little dinky screws that look like... This is my tranny stuff. That look like this here. Hope I didn't lose that one. They're little dinky ones, and they got the star type looking thing. But a quarter inch socket will remove it. Now I'm wondering what I did. I had another one. Hopefully, I put that was the one. I put it back. I mean, I guess I could buy new ones, but. Why buy new ones when you don't have to, right? So I got the light set up here. I got that evil bright light there. And then this mild one over here just to give me some light down here. So I'm going to just set the camera up. You can watch me fumble around. You have a good idea as to why I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> All right, right there. Okay, so... To, to get access to the uh, screws, got my quarter inch socket here, and I, this is kind of cool, it locks it in place, doesn't pop off, an extension, and then my snap-on swivel head, and I go in this way, hope you guys can see it into here. Whoops. Here. And now I'm on the screw right now. And I start rotating. So let's see if that screwdriver stays in place. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with all four screws. I'll just do the one. I know you guys really can't see. You know what? Take you out of the nest for a second. So, there's the ratchet. And there's that socket right there. Now it's rotating. I don't know if you can see it actually rotating, but it is. I'm sure it's fine thread, so it's going to take me a while. So, I'll give you an idea of how I'm doing it. I'll take that screw out. Bango. Do I have to move the camera back so you can see a little bit more action? I don't know. Let's try this, right? Like so. Man, I love that uh, wide lens. That fish, I guess they call it a fisheye lens. That is really, really nice. It's amazing how much you can get the view. So right now, I could probably do it with my hand. I am. How about that, huh? Come on, get on there. There you go. I hope they're all this easy to get at. There, that one's out. I get a magnet trying to pull that bad boy out. And of course, where are the magnets, right? Oh, I got one. You see, hang it on these posts. So every magnet should be on that post of the lift. Uh, Ta-da! Check it out. 
Check it out now, the Funk Soul Brother. Let me put my hand behind it so it's, there it is, that's one. Let me see if I can get another one. Hopefully I don't bah, bore you. Put screws on this one. Remember, screws on that one. Tool over here. I know it sounds real, very rudimentary, but uh, I gotta try to rotate this fast, bad boy. Uh, uh, see, I'm jammed up on this thing here. On this yoke. I'm gonna get that yoke back out. Uh, you wonder how I'm gonna do that? Well, I can rotate it like that and then pull the yoke out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I pulled the yoke out, this thing here, out of the transmission. That's big enough not to lose. If it wasn't big, I'd lose it for sure. All right, that one screw is out. Where is it? There's the other one, another one. Not the other one, but another one. Let's see if I can get at that one. So I got four of these to do. Where are you? There you are. It's on it. I'll get the anti-rotating magnet attached to it. I don't know if that's anti-rotation thing's gonna help. Uh, how am I gonna keep that like from rotating, huh? Anybody got any suggestions? That's really the I'm in there. Oh, there. Maybe. Nope. Well, let me just crank on it and see what happens. Well, that one I can get out. Let me try that one first. Try the easy ones first. I, you know, I never ever do that, but until I, until I do. So, hopefully that'll stay. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, there she goes. Just easy does it, Dirk. Ah, oh, my arms. So anyway, I have one out. I have four to go. And my arms are saying, let me down, let me down. So I'm getting real excited. Uh, I got a contact with... Uh, uh, Got a contact of my friend, my electrician friend from Beaver Island. I know I've probably talked about this before, but Beaver Island. Hey, check this out. A present for the Dirk Meister. Father Steve. I'll show you in a second. Uh, so Kathy and I are making plans to head over there. I want to say it's July 7th. Let's see. It's already the 24th of June, by the way. Wednesday. How crazy is that? I'm not sure what day we're going, but uh, I'll, I'll get that nailed down. I always like to be home on the weekends. I think that's really important. Um, so, in like two weeks, July, I don't know if it's July 7th or it's July 6th. Um, don't know. So, but we got to be careful that we avoid the 4th of July rush. Oh, by the way, it's 1032 right now in the morning. Time's flying. And, uh, stay there a few days. Probably one, one night or two nights on the island and meet my friend. I'm not going to say his name yet because I don't know if he wants me to. But in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll, uh, he's retired. He retired probably 18 years ago. And then I worked with him at Lear Alpine. And we were talking about the island then. I'm going, why would you live on an island up north like that? The winters are brutal. Maybe they're not. Brutal. And um, like I said, it's on Beaver Island. And uh, you're stuck. You know, the only way to get back and forth is on an airplane small airplane or um, or what um, a ferry so I don't know I'm really curious 
I've always, you know, everybody always dreams of living on an island or something, but uh, he's doing it. Uh, he's got some uh, raised, uh, he's got a raised garden. I kind of followed him on um, Google Maps. You could zoom in on it and see his raised garden. He had like two or three or four or five beds. And I looked on it today and he's got a ton of them and the garden really grew huge. So that's just kind of guy he is. He likes the uh, the wild outside, I guess. So I'm really curious. Kathy and I are going to take the ferry up from Charlevoix. And uh, we're going to have a good time. So looking forward to it. Off subject a little bit. I want to wrap these bad boys. Now that it's out, I'm just going to wrap it. And... Uh, I watched a couple, three videos on it, YouTube videos, and um, it seems like, hey, seems like a pain. So, I'm really curious how that's going to be. They got clamps to clamp the thing on there, but I was hoping you you put some kind of, um, some kind of compound on there to tighten it all up, but uh, no, it's all floppy on there. It's like a matting. So I hope to do that soon, this week yet, and then have the headers in. Um, then I can lower this bad boy. Oh, I got to get the uh, flex plate mounted onto the torque, torque converter yet. No problem. That's right in here. It's really, really accessible. Zane just, just needs to... Uh, open up the holes a little bit, get them to line up, and then uh, I gotta reroute all my gas lines. That'll be a, a challenge. You know, I have to stop thinking I want to get this thing going like right now, just relax. Unless I leave the gas the way it is and just say, Hey, let's get it fired up. And then once it's fired up, tune it in, and then I can remove all the gas lines and replace them all. And um, I can get gas lines for relatively cheaply and reroute them all because right now they're way too close to them headers and i will get a hood i'm thinking now the more i'm thinking about it i'm just going to cut a humongous humongous hole oh well see who it is holton michigan i have no idea who that is anybody know who this is no idea i'll call them later it's irritating noise um, just cut a whole bunch of one big giant hole or a whole bunch of small ones so it re retains rigidity just to get rid of the heat and to suck in air. So I'm thinking about just a bolt on uh, a bolt on hood scoop. That's what uh, Brian Key has got on his 75 duster. Who cares? It looks nice doesn't look bad uh, maybe black and then paint some big blacks two black stripes or something across the top just to make it look nice I know people say no 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 dirty no 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 big white stripes just some small stripe forget about it I like the look of the white stripes I don't know if it's gonna look good on this thing but and I'll I'll, uh, I'll do some photoshopping and see if uh, see what it looks like I've, I'm in love with a, two white stripes and then a pinstripe on the sides. I've, I've seen them on the Camaros forever, and uh, I, I think it just looks good. I've never seen them on a Corvette, and it might look like crap, and I might not do it. But uh, there's different type of uh, race stripes, too. Like, you got them just on the side, you know, a couple of stripes coming down like this, red ones or something. Might do that, but I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm going to name this thing Manta Ray. And I'll have a big giant manta ray on the side. Really sharp. No, it'll be sharp. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. I don't want it too long. It's already 14 minutes long. So, that's where I'm work what I'm working on, guys. Uh, get getting the uh, drive shaft off. I got to knock uh, um, an inch and a quarter off. I'm hoping the guy can just cut it and weld it, then balance it. And I'm hoping. I'm thinking that'll be cheaper than buying a whole new one. Because some of the guys are saying they don't they, they don't like to cut them. Why not? I don't know. Does it cost more money that that way? I don't know. 
uh, they'd rather make them new, but I don't know. There's a couple places. Casey Sirick told me about one in Grand Rapids, and then Zane Van Middlecoop told me about the one in um, uh, off just the exit door, 142nd. If you're heading south, you get off on US-131, you exit, and then hang a right, and then right there, it's called Heisinga something. I think it's Heisinga. Freeze name. Oh boy. I have been noticing too that I'll I'll make some mistakes in what I say. I, I can't give you an example. Something like right or left, and it was the opposite. But uh, so if you guys catch that, let me know. No, I don't even bother. All right, see you guys. Bye.